You know, as parents, we hope that our children are getting the nutrition that they need and deserve at school. Well, Robstown ISD is now responding after these photos of students' lunches made their way across social media. Our Javier Guerra has that story. Robstown ISD responding to those photos saying, quote, they've missed the mark, but are committed to ensuring the adequate nutrition of students. Imagine getting this for lunch, not very appealing. One grandmother decided to post a picture to Facebook, which soon became viral. That woman who asked to be called Norma tells us she got a call from her grandchild's school principal. Yes, I mean, I had a call from the principal yesterday and she assured me that there are going to be a lot of changes. They're supposed to have a meeting on Monday. We reached out to Robstown ISD and they sent us a statement saying, quote, while we are certain our child nutrition team works tirelessly throughout the school year to prepare meals for students on a daily basis, these photos show that in this case, we've missed the mark and the meal was distributed without the proper review. They also say they are taking additional steps to monitor meals to make sure this does not happen again. We spoke to a clinical dietitian with Chris Svon who tells us why it's important important students get adequate nutrition during school. Um, so making sure they have adequate nutrition throughout the day, making sure they get their appropriate um, calories um, with proteins and fats and carbohydrates um, and all the vitamins and minerals through vegetables and fruit is super important. Robstown Mayor Gilbert Gomez also echoed that statement who says he knows sometimes children depend on school food to eat. Uh, I think it is very important that they do get a good meal uh, at lunchtime at the school. So, um, you know, and and I'm glad that the school is saying that they're uh, going to do better, they're striving to do their best, and, and that's uh, the way it should be. The school district is promising to do better. To read the entire statement, you can head to our website. That's ChrisTV.com. Reporting in Robstown, Javier Guerra, Chris 6 News. And happening tomorrow, Robstown ISC is also holding a town hall meeting to talk about the consolidation of schools and realignment of elementary campuses. The superintendent will be there to answer questions from parents and students. That town hall is going to be held at the Robstown Early College High School Auditorium at 6 p.m.